that is one impressive sheep pasture. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I've got 15 mods for you. For all platforms, we've got four new and two updates. For console only, we've got three new. And PC and Mac, we've got six new. Let's check it out. First up today, we have the Chrome KWT 1122. This is a very, very unique tether. This is by Be Modding Wobster and Mad Max. Very good modders right there. This is cool. And I'm gonna go into explaining what's so special about this. But first, we need to go customize one of these and let's go check it out. So let's jump in and let's go into tools and let's go into tethers. Of course, we're gonna find it right here, the KWT1122 for $23,600. Now, I know I said customize, there is no customization. It just kind of is what it is, but check this out. 55 horsepower, 11.2 meters. That's insane. Look at this. This one's 8.7. It requires 80 horsepower. This one's 95 horsepower, 13 meters. This, <laughs> not even. 55 horsepower required at 11.2 meters. This just might have become one of the most popular tethers in the game. So let's hook up and let's find out what's so special about this tether. So if we look at our top left-hand corner, well, we get pretty much all of the normal stuff. We can fold, unfold, and do all that stuff. Folding actually looks pretty good. This entire thing is pulled by a trailer, so you're not gonna be hooking this up to a three-point and that kind of thing. You've got this right here, and I love it, I love it, I love it. So let's go ahead and drop this thing down, and we're just gonna start moving, because in order to show you the next part, we've gotta be moving to do this. Now, this is gonna be sweet. So if I lower this down, and you can see at the uh, top left, we've got right. I can move this tether right and left, which is so cool. So ooh, ooh, a little bit much there. <laughs> so if you want to get up close to uh, the side of a uh, building, or if you want to get up to a uh, fence, you can, you definitely can. Not only that, we could change the work mode. We could toggle the work mode and it'll just like swap it around. <laughs> Check this out. So while you're driving, you can make it go from left to right just by toggling the work mode, which I think is pretty sweet. Whoop. <laughs> this is cool. There's nothing else like this in the game. So you can run middle, you run left, you can run right. This is cool. This is really cool. I expect nothing less from those modders, but this, this, all right, this is pretty sweet. Next up, we have the Trafo Station or the Transformer Station. This can be placed on your map and it brings in income every hour. So if you're in easy mode, it's going to be $200 per hour. If you're normal, $100 per hour. And if you're in hard, it's going to be $50 per hour. Now, this is not cheap by any means. This is 98 grand just to buy this building by itself. Of course, there's nothing we can do, no interactions that we can do with the building, but we can make money on it. So that's kind of nice. So, and if you want to find this, it's going to be found in placeables and in decorations. So it's going to be found in there and that's where you're going to find it. And again, like I said, easy, normal, hard. If you don't know how to change that, well, what you want to do is go into your, uh, your save game and then you just go into game settings and economic difficulty. So that's how you're going to change between all of those. When I do my testing, I'm in normal. Just th things are normal. I think most everybody plays a normal or easy. So there you go. There's your transformer station. Next, we have the summer sheep pasture. And this is exactly what it sounds like. It is a pasture for your sheep when using seasons to put them in here in the summer. <laughs> Glitch out just a little bit right there. The cool thing about this is on the inside where you would give them their food, this doesn't get dirty. So if you're on console, you don't have to clean up after these guys. One thing to note is they're not going to produce any wool. They will still reproduce, but they will not produce any wool. So do keep that in mind. You got a place for water and a place for food and a place to unload them and do all that kind of stuff. And that's it. You can store 100 sheep in here. It's quite large, but it is what it is. It takes up quite a bit of room. Um, like I said, the really cool thing is well, when you're doing seasons during the summer and during autumn, they don't produce wool. 
So in here, you can move your sheep to here when you're doing seasons from wherever you have them. And you don't have to clean up after them. You don't have to think about it. Just make sure they have food. That's it. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's really cool. If you guys want to find this, of course, it is going to be found in uh, placeables and in animal pens, and it's going to cost you $50,000. And your last new mod for all platforms today is Seasons Geo Southeast Poland. Poland's a country with four seasons. Winter can be cold and summer can be very hot. You can see there's not a whole lot of time to do really anything here. A lot of sitting around and waiting and fast forwarding time. You can see your main cereal crops are all done in early spring to mid spring. The rest of your crops are done mid spring to late spring. If you want to do canola, that's going to be done in uh, late summer. And then you have harvesting from midsummer through the end of autumn, depending on what you're doing. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms today. First is the Adirante pack, changelog 1.4.1. Added support for manual attach, which is PC only, and some minor bug fixes have been made to the mod overall. And your last mod update for all platforms today is the MX Manual V7000. Changelog 1.1 added more configurations, textures have been revised, and small bug fixes made to the mod. Moving into new mods for console only today. So console got four, not three, four new mods today that uh, PC has had for a while, but you guys have this stuff now. First of those is the Bosini 280. For you guys, this is going to be the Mac Agra or AGR B280. We've got multiple main colors, rim colors, design colors, uh, wheel brands, all kinds of stuff that you could do with this. The big takeaway here is this is a slurry tank, a slurry injector, as it were. Um, you can either shoot it out at 9 meters or you can inject it directly at uh, 25,500 liters. So do keep that in mind at 7 miles per hour, which is pretty sweet. Not only that, there's another option right here. This guy right here. This is the Bosini B350. Again, very similar stuff. However, it holds 35,000 liters, unlike this one that holds less than that, 200 or uh, 25,000. So that's pretty sweet. Um, PC also has this, the Bosini injector. I'm not sure if console does have this or not. So double check in your slurry tanks. Now, not only that, you guys actually got the Zune Hammer SK pack as well, which is pretty sweet. With this pack, you get the Zune Hammer SK, which has a couple different capacity options here, which is nice. Wheel brand setups, you've got different design options, plus fenders as well, which is neat. Now this will spray at 14.8 meters at 10 miles per hour. It also has a rear three point. So if you've got some type of cultivator injector, you can use that with this too. And then the fourth new mod for consoles only today is the PIM40. This is by FSSA Modding. Great to see them bringing some of their mods over to console. With this one, we have multiple different setups. You've got a couple different capacity options here as well, which is nice. And then we've got a few designs as well. So whatever you like there, go for it. Making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players today. First up, we have the Armas AZ-118. This is going to be a small cultivator, 2.2 meters. So not the quite magic number, but hey, <laughs> we've got it nonetheless. Let's go in and check it out. So let's go into tools and let's go into cultivators. And we've got so many cultivators now, you never know how long it's going to take to pop up. Here it is right here, the AZ-118. $8,000, 60 horsepower required, 2.2 meters at 9 miles per hour. No customization. What you see is what you get on this one. There you go. Nice roller in the back. We've got some discs in the middle, and we've got some cultivators in the front. Very cool, very nice, small, tidy little mod. Next is a game changer for PC players. This is the Livestock Trailer Add-on. What this does is allows you to A, buy chickens, B, transport said chickens in most, if not all, animal trailers, and you could buy chicken food at the same time for mm, close to $2,000 per thousand liters, which I'm not quite sure, but that is a little bit more expensive than the bags in game. So just something to keep in mind there. So how exactly does this work? Well, if we go in, this automatically adds to the animal transports chickens. So you can see right here, we actually have the Joss Competimax out right now. This will hold 90 chickens. The Micheletto will hold 228 chickens, 240 in the Wilson. Uh, let's see, other mods that we have in the Art Mechanic, for example, 228 chickens. So it, it, holds, it holds some chickens, man. This holds some chickens. So let's... Uh, 
Let's get some chickens. <laughs> we can hold. Let's see. It doesn't say. Oh, and we can't use the animal uh, extension either. So I'm just going to have to go ham here on the. It's like, I didn't remember. I don't remember exactly how many this says. Okay, so 90 chickens confirm. And you could see we have the chickens in, uh, in here. <laughs> Each chicken's in its own little cage. That's awesome. Also, it adds sounds. Let's see. <laughs> so we've also got uh, sounds. This will add any sound of any animal. So horses, cows, uh, pig, sheep chickens included so you've got all that which i think is really cool and then you can see once we turn the hut on the bottom right hand corner we see 90 chickens that is awesome no longer do we have to <laughs> pay for chickens and then if you want to fill up this works like a normal silo just back in a, tra a, uh, a tractor and go for it now this doesn't come with the trailers these are just in-game based trailers uh that i'm using just for demonstration purposes and if we go in here let's see that door doesn't open it just kind of is what it is. Hey, there's the uh, chicken things. <laughs> That's awesome. This is the coolest thing ever. GTX, you rock. Speaking of GTX, we've got another brand new mod from them, the Multiplayer Vehicle Keys. Are you sick of stepping out of your vehicle in multiplayer to open a gate or open a door, do something, and then somebody jumps in your tractor and takes off with it? Be like, I was waiting for that. Happens in multiplayer all the time. Well, this right here allows you to keep the keys to that vehicle. So if you've got a, uh, I don't know, if you've got a truck, for example, well, if you get out, nobody's going to steal it from you. And this works even when you're offline as well. I think that's one of the coolest things. Um, one thing to note is that this mod is automatically disabled when you are in single player, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. And not only that, um, if you're offline, the... Um, the person who's actually in charge of the server, they can still move things around just in case, just so if you're not there. But I think that's so cool. Next new mod for PC and Mac players today is the global company Alfalfa Dryer. Lucerne is dried in this dry price is gonna be $110,000. Capacity is 1 million liters. Oh yeah. Maintenance cost per day is 100 bucks per day. Dimensions are 15 meters by 15 meters. It will produce 3,000 liters per hour. Required inputs is alfalfa and output is dry alfalfa. You will need the global company mod for this to work. You will also need Maze Plus and the Maze Plus Forge extension as well. Speaking of alfalfa, we have the global company alfalfa fermenting silo. With this fermenting silo, you can easily make alfalfa silage. Um, the exact everything's exactly the same as the previously mentioned dryer. So with this required inputs, you have Lucerne or alfalfa and output is going to be alfalfa silage. This mod is only used with Global Company and you will need the Maze Plus and Maze Plus Forge extension mods to be installed to use this. And your last new mod for PC and Mac players today, Bakawa. It's a very popular small map from Farming Simulator 2011. Now a completely refinished version for FS19. Have a great game. This map includes special flat area where you can easily build your farm, compatible with the seasons mod, winter grass, trees, and bushes. Small fields just right for small or older farm machinery. Uh, there is also a forest where you can cut down trees and you can breed cows, pigs, and sheep. How cool is that? This place is tiny, by the way. So that whole area is a 2X. What you're used to. This is the map right here. <laughs> It's itty bitty. Uh, to, to be fair, the land is very cheap, though. It's it's very, very cheap. One thing to keep in mind when you start new farmer, you get no fields. Nada. We own nothing in new farmer mode. So uh, you are going to have to take some of that hundred grand that you get in new farmer and you're going to have to buy something. So just keep that in mind. Uh, as far as new farmer mode goes, what do you get? Well, we get a Fiat, we get a Bison, we get a trailer, we get a header for that, cultivator, cedar, and we get a fertilizer as well as a pig enclosure. So I think that's kind of neat. Wait, hold up. Pig enclosure, is that a mod? That is a mod. Interesting. Ah, it's this one right here. This is it. So this is all of your equipment right here. Um, really neat thing is the pig enclosure also has all the stuff that you need uh, as far as like shed storage and building, that kind of thing. 
This is kind of cool. I like this. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. Get subscribed to the channel. Join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss a daily farming simulator video here on the channel. With all that being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.